Good morning everyone. I'm Zaira Alnaliosa from TSPA 2-1 and I'm going to present about Las Rinas del Corazon by Eric T. Camalinda. What is Las Rinas del Corazon all about? This poem focuses on the concept of love by Juana Damad. Her kind of love is the different kind of love from the norms. Juana Damad's love is more on possessive love, selfish love, and necrophilia love with a touch of cannibalism as she wanted to possess him entirely. And since not even death may oppose the queen, she found a way to merge death and life. This quote explains that she, want, she was so obsessed with her man that she wanted to be one with him, and for that to actually happen, he consumed him. The death of Philip the Handsome, Juana's husband, is said to have left the queen insane, although in real life she didn't consume Philip's corpse lovingly, as in Eric Gamalinda's poem, but historical accounts say Juana refused to part from Philip's dead body after his death and didn't allow it to be buried at once. In grief, Juana entered the nunnery where she confined herself for the rest of her life. Certain images in the poem Las Rinas del Corazon like As pungent potions fill the rooms, she peeked into his cup and like a chef picks into his pot. The word pungent explained that the potion has a penetrating and sharp smells that fills the room. So an image of a smelly, fitted, and malodorous room entered our mind. Also, the use of figurative language makes the poem more intense and rich. The use of the simile to compare Juana the Mud peeking into her husband, coffins, and a chef peeking into his cooking spot go, just, just goes to show the relation Juana the Mud has with her dead husband. She still watches over him as if he would go anywhere, even though the readers know that, she, that he is going nowhere since he, since he is dead. About the author, Eric Gamalinda was born and raised in Manila, where he worked as an investigative journalist until he migrated to United States in 1993. He is the author of five celebrated novels, all originally published in the Philippines. He is also a poet, playwright, and experimental filmmaker, and has received the Asian American Literary Award for his collection of Poems Zero Gravity, a New York Foundation for the Arts Fellowship for Fiction, the Philippine Centennial Literary Prize for his fourth novel, My Sad Republic, the Philippine National Book Award for his first novel, Planet Waves, and several Carlos Palanca award for his novel Empire of Memory. His poetry, nonfiction, and plays. Akashic Books will publish his first next novel, The Descartes Highlands, in November 2014. About the poem. The choice of words that Gamalinda has used in the poem, such as adamant, fragrant, and ruddy, are examples of words that many people aren't familiar with. Some would consider this word to be deep, and Gamalindas probably wants to portray that Juana de Mad's love, the love that she thinks she has, is as deep as the word that he used to portray the dramatic situation. In Gamalinda's case, his writing technique strongly uses imagery in this selection because this is a way for him to be able to convey his message in a stronger and deeper manner. Also, this is for him to be able to evoke certain emotions from his readers by the use of his choice of words. In this poem, it shows to us the intensity of love, how love leaves great effect on someone who's madly in love with his her partner. There were craziness in someone's life that no one would ever thought. Love make us do such thing we never knew we would in our entire life. Juana's love was so great and so selfish. So great that she needed it recorded in the most beautiful and exquisite and lasting objects. 
and so selfish that she needed to hide this record. She was so afraid that she would forget about her love that it had to be recorded and guarded so selfishly.